this is Espirito Santo in Vanuatu, and I want to show you five awesome things to do here. Hey guys, what's happening? It's Josh with Lost Passport here. Today, I'm in Vanuatu. I'm in actually one of Vanuatu's largest islands, far north, called Santo. But about 40 kilometers north of Luganville off the east coast, at a little place called Lonok Beach. It is amazingly tranquil here. There is no electricity at night, but I got the beach right across from me. So, I had a brief experience with Vanuatu last night. On the way up here, we got to see Ambe, the island across the water is an active volcano. We got to see it erupting. That's the first volcano I've ever seen, and as I see it, the bloody thing explodes. What an introduction to Vanuatu. So after breakfast, we've got plenty planned. I'm gonna check out this amazing beach behind us. It's just 30 meters away called Monarch Beach. Gonna get a kayak, head around to the next beach called Champagne Beach, and check out three of the blue swimming holes that Santo has to offer. There's a crazy bit about this place is that that is how close the beach is right behind me. Let's go check it out. This beautiful little resort here is called Blomont Beach Bungalows. The rooms are just 13 bucks a night, can you believe it? And yes, it is literally that close to the beach. Now a lot of people don't even know about Blomont Beach. This small stretch of sand is quite a secluded spot. Before we go too far, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. In Vanuatu, this is my buddy Lucas. He's paddling away. We're going to Champagne Beach. This is an incredible spot. Just check this out. Champagne Beach is absolutely not a bad spot to, to kayak over to. Have a look at this. We've been kayaking from Lonok Beach for about 15 minutes now and at this beautiful pristine beach, just blue water. Wild cows just kind of cruising around that beach. Look at that white sand. Now it's 500 Vatu, which is about six bucks to go on to Champagne Beach. We're not gonna jump in right now, we'll do it later today, we'll come back. And next up, it's time to jump in the back of a Vanuatu taxi as we make our way down to one of the Blue Lagoons. There's a few of these uh, blue holes in Vanuatu and uh, this island of Santo. Probably the most iconic thing to find in Santo, actually. This is a, the Nanda Blue Hole. It's a little bit more probably developed. A nice boardwalk and everything here. It's not just straight in the jungle, but mate, this looks like absolute paradise. It's the bluest water I've ever seen. I'm colorblind, but that's definitely blue to me. by a second blue hole. It's called the Riri Blue Hole. This one's a bit more jungly. So we're gonna get down the river with this little outrigger canoe. And we're gonna go for a good swim before we head back into Luganville and check out another island. So let's get on board. swim here. The blue holes are the number one thing I really came to Santo for and they're just, in photos and videos they're incredibly blue. When you get here, I swear, they're even bluer. And as you can see behind me, it's even better than it is on photos. I mean, oh, it's just so tranquil and amazing. You can just stand here and that, hear the birds all around you. It's time to get in for a dip. And another awesome thing about the Ruri Blue Hole is this platform. And it's not just this platform, it's what you'll find at the top. So from there we wrapped up our time exploring the Blue Lagoons of Santo. It had been an awesome day out. And to wrap up the day we head to the far north of Santo where you'll find this epic beach up here called Port Ulrich. 
The water at Port Oro is amazingly clear, perfect for an afternoon swim, and of course you can chill at one of these beautiful little beach bungalows for a cold beer watching the sunset. Like I say guys, what an absolutely incredible place. If you want genuine, come to Santo and Vanuatu. It's the real deal. If you love this video, be sure to check out my detailed guide on Esperito Santo. There's a link in the description down below and I'm sure it's going to be super useful when planning your trip to Vanuatu. And again, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this trip in Santo, Vanuatu. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below to follow me on the Lost Passport on more adventures around the world.